You know, so often we will treat strangers better than our loved ones. We all see it. We're all guilty of it sometimes. Uh, think about how you feel towards the people that are closest to you and make sure they know how you feel. Don't let current conditions dictate how you act or treat those around you. So at the end of my father's life, he demonstrated this in ways that were truly incredible. Um, it, was, it was a special thing to be in that hospital room with him. And the way he treated everybody that came into that room was, it was a lesson. Um, the first chapter of the book, I'm going to be talking about the book today. And I'm going to share some of the lessons that are in the book, some of the stories. Um, everybody loves to hear stories. So I'm going to tell you some of the stories. Um, when I started writing this book, I said to Corey, I, I, I said to her, I said, you know, I feel like I've I, I got to write a book. I've got a message I know I can share with the world. And I'm not quite sure what it is, but Dad always says, you know, everybody's got a book in them. And Corey looks at me and she started laughing. She said, Brian, every seminar you're at, everybody comes up to you. What's it like being Bob Proctor's son? And that's what you need to write about. So kind of made sense. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to write a book all around the stories, what it was like growing up with Bob Proctor as a father. What would he teach his own son? And that is what I put in this book. 